I'm shaking my head. I'm shaking my head because Mark Gay, he could be out injured. We'll be looking at Southgate's comments as he got subbed off during the last international game for England against Scotland. And if he is out injured, who would potentially come in? Plus, we've signed a player. We've signed a player, but it is an academy player. We'll be answering your questions and more. Let's get started with Palace News. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to Live Palace News. I know we haven't been as active as we were during the international break, but as you know, as these games are coming up and sooner rather than later, we'll probably hear some transfer stories. These shows will be running as normal. As always, if you do enjoy the content, it helps us out massively. If you could leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, let's try to get over 100 likes once again. Joined by T here. I'm not solo, I'm joined by T. <laughs> It's like it's like finding Wally. It's like finding T. I mean, can't find you anywhere. Where have you been? Man, uh, out with a surgery and dealing with family stuff and working from home, all kind of things, man. Yeah, I mean, you was out injured like Elise, but, you know, during the international break, we'll put you on rehab, um, got you going. You was out on a training pitch, and here you are. Here you are doing I'm Palace back, News. You're back out. I'm back. I'm back. I'm you're back. back. You're back. Yeah, you had a minor <laughs> setback from major comebacks, man. Here you are. Here you are. Look, as I said um, during the start of the show, Mark Gahey is going to be the main agenda. But if you do have any questions... Uh, you want to send them through as always we want you to get involved let, let us know in the live comment section by putting a q dot before your actual question so we can start it and answer it towards the end of the show now t international break i mean we already spoke about it in the match preview so i'm not going to ask you about how it went um make sure to check that out tomorrow and check out the opposition preview after this which is pinned in the comment section uh, me and t spoke about whether mateta could start uh, Gay E, if he's out injured, we also spoke about that in a match preview as well. So we're going to try to have a different conversation with Gay E in this show rather than what we spoke about in a match preview. Uh, check that out tomorrow. Um, but how you like, how you been apart from the football? We're talking about ETFs and mutual funds. I mean, uh, Tim will probably help us with that. But um, you seem like you're cha you're changed man now. You're you're getting into investments. Uh, <laughs> the, the rehab, the injury, has got you feeling a bit different. I have more time on my hands, man. Yeah, now you ain't got transfer news to, to look you know, at like twenty four seven. Yeah, you got, man, you got more time in your hands. Trying to trying to do some some self improvement, doing more reading and all that kind of stuff. Trying to be, you know, a better version of myself. But yeah, man, you know, uh, shout out to Tim. Tim, feel, feel free, man. Whenever you get a chance, let's let's link up. Let's talk. I'm, I want to know some more. But uh, you know, man, it is what it is. Uh, but you know, always always happy to be here. Happy to be back. So. Uh, Appreciate that, man. You know, listen. Yeah, you got new hair as well. Look, look at you, man. You, you got, hey, man. I don't hey, know what's man. happened whilst you was out injured, you know, but you've been looking, dude, smelling, guys, smelling like a million bucks. You know, yeah, look, you got you got a bit of time in your hands now. As I said, look during the window, it was hectic with work, with everything going on. But now we can actually just relax. You can breathe. You don't worry about the day, the, the day to days, and who's coming where. And if, day to days, hour to hour. I mean, <laughs> a lot of change from the hour. <laughs> Forget literally, about the day to day. We, we do everything at the last minute. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It was hour to hour, literally, throughout the, throughout the whole window, it feels like. One second of players joining, another second of players leaving, then they end up staying. But it, it happened, it happened. And I'm pretty sure the transfer news will be coming in. As I said, there is actually a signing, uh, albeit a youngster um, already. But I know there'll be more transfer news coming up, as as you know how it works. Um, you, you meant it already prepare for January. Because we have got missing pieces that we need to still solve. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Paul saying, holding in for Mark Simple. Uh, McDuff says, um, heard a horror story, Southgate to Palace. I actually spoke about that the other day, T. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Southgate that's... to Palace. In terms of odds, he is, well, is Palace odds are favourite compared to other odds. It's still 12 to 1. Um, but yeah, the, look, the less we speak about that, better. because Real well, quick, the, T, real quick. Palace, because I know you spoke about it, real quick. Southgate or Patty McCarthy. I'll have you over Southgate or me. No, but anyone. So so McCarthy then. You would take Patty yeah, McCarthy. 100 percent I said that. Okay. okay. I said that already. I'm Southgate is yeah, the less I speak, the better it is because I genuinely don't rate him. I know he's improved the squad. We spoke about that in another stream. We'll talk about Southgate if it does happen again. But hopefully that's the last time we speak about Southgate. Led Scotland is scoring, didn't he? 
Oh yeah, they, there was that as well. But Mark, Mark Gay, huh? he played. He played in that game. He played in that game as well in the first half. Funny enough, the player that got subbed off for Gay, he what happened? He yep. ended up, you know, scoring an own goal. Great, 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 great Southgate. <laughs> um, and Eze should have put that away as well. There's a lot of Palace players out um, during the international break, um, doing all kinds of things. Jordan Ayew scored yep. a goal as well, so he's carrying his fine form. I think Yoki Madison had decent time with Denmark. Yep. I'm guessing I didn't watch the game or follow him. Uh, he, but he, he, I think he posted a story a good, about it. Good match, apparently. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So we was out there, but the the negative is injuries can happen. Injuries can happen, people. Yeah. And now let's get into that with Mark Gahey, as you can see from the title, potentially out injured. We don't know yet to the extent. Um, Gahey's substitution on Tuesday was connected to a groin slash hip problem pre-existed before the Scotland game, which pisses me off even more with Southgate. In all honesty, if it was, you know, if, if this problem arises uh, during England and he still played him against Scotland, um, fitness test ahead of the game versus Aston Villa is needed. T, look, it feels like, well, it seemed like he had an injury going into the Scotland game. I don't think he was from Palace because he didn't look injured when he was at Palace. But, if he was out injured and Southgate did play him, I know, as I said, we spoke, we spoke about in the match preview, but not this discussion. What does the, How does that make you feel? Was it necessary to play Gehi if he had injury problems before the game? That It doesn't help the cause, I'll be honest, with Southgate. It's, it's not helping him right now. I don't think it was necessary at all. I mean, if, 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 if what the report says is true and he was dealing with something that they said was considered pre-existing, meaning that he did it in training or in their first um match that they had of the window uh, uh, uh i mean of the uh the international uh, break uh th- there's no reason to, to to play him in that situation it's a friendly nothing's on the line you know what i mean um it, 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 it just it, it just it's just one of those Why? things where the the end consequence sucks for us not for them as much it it, it 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 really hurts us as the club of the player, not so much the international team. Yeah, yeah. Let us know what you uh, think as well. With Southgate playing Gehi potentially through an injury for, geez, as as he said for friendly, and then him gets subbed off due to that injury. Hopefully, mm-hmm. it's never serious. Scotland versus England is never really a friendly. Yes, Mitch, but there's other options. Apart from you know, he loves McGuire. Yeah, like, you know, I'm not I'm not risking guys that have evident injuries that they're dealing with, or you know, what I'm you saying like do that. You shouldn't do that. It makes it doesn't make much sense. I'll be honest. Um, but what happened to Jim Cannon? Says McDuff. Um, I think he's still working at the club. Um, so yeah, he's he's still around the club as ambassador. I think I'm not too sure. So he's he's around. But look, gay he. I guess when would the interview press conference be tomorrow? It should be tomorrow. So I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Um, will, will it be tomorrow or will it be fr- Friday? It might be Friday. Um, depends. The day we play before, Saturday, it could right? Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday game. So maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. It could we'll be see. Friday. But we'll see. But we'll, yeah, we'll, if, we'll if it's Friday, then because... we'll find out then. But then yeah. again, T, just quickly, we don't want to have any spoiler alerts. Go check out the match preview uh, when it is out tomorrow. We do have decent depth options uh, and i said it as well i think we have very good depth options in comparison to everyone else um in the league mm-hmm. <laughs> i know what you're looking at as well <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit surprised i'm a bit surprised as well um but uh, let me go through some of the comments sorry sorry uh, we got put off by something uh southgate or Potter to Palace all day long simple uh, T, you know what? Go through the comments, and I need to check something whilst yeah. you go through the comments. And looking at it, so yeah, but if Southgate put out a weak inside and lost to Scotland, his career would be over. Not really a friendly. Yeah. Um, is there any other um, I, I mean, in, in, in responding to that, I, I mean, I, I, I feel where you coming from, but I mean, I don't know. Playing a hurt player is playing a hurt player at the end of the day. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. But what do you make of Ez playing for, for playing for England? I mean, I get it. I get why he wants to. I mean, I, I mean, I understand why he accepted the opportunity. Um, but it's just one of those things. How many chances is he going to get being a part of that team? 
I guess is what it boils down to. And at the same time, it could just be down to the manager. You know, I mean, there's talk of Southgate leaving after the Euro. So who knows what it can mean as far as the next manager and how they view ebbs and the opportunities he might get. But, you know, um, he may have some things to think about if he continues to not get opportunities um, to play, though. Yeah, uh, uh, there's something going on behind the scenes. You know what? I want to bring. I want to actually bring him on um, to ask what's going. Yeah, let's let's bring him on. Well, how to get the link is what I'm wondering. Exactly. I'm so confused. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how he's here. I, I, I don't know. Paul, are you I there? Be like Patrick or something. Yeah. Are you, Paul, there, are you there, Paul? We don't know who Paul is. That's why we got caught off guard. Well, the last Paul, two, is, three minutes. Uh, uh, Paul is like Patrick, man. He's, he's... I don't. I genuinely don't know. I'm so confused. It's just yeah, yeah that's weird. Uh, we, we didn't we left the door. So I'm not sure how in, anybody would have got that. But yeah, there's someone called Paul, which I don't know how Paul is here, but Paul is you know behind the scenes and he caught me <laughs> and T off guard. But he left. He left. Paul left. Um, Mark got a groin injury. Says Paul. Maybe he is this Paul. I don't know how. Even if it is, um, how is that the stream? Um, you're looking at two weeks to a month. Trust me. Exactly. Um, and we got some massive games. We got the Carabao is that what Cup they say? game. Is, is it a groin? Is what they were saying? His groin slash hip. So it's not quite clear. Um, yeah. but yeah. So it it depends really. It does. Uh, Cody saying, um, I, it does suck about Gehi, but it does give us an opportunity to see riches and see what he has to offer. Quickly before Cody, Cody I know watch, to, yeah. watch the match preview. Yeah, Cody, watch the match preview, about, but we talk. But yeah, I, we're not too sure if it would be rich as a start. Let us know what you guys think as well. If Gehi was out injured, would it be Tompkins, Holden, or Chris Richards? That's the question right now. Because we put a poll sure on here. Well. Can we do a poll? <laughs> I mean, yeah, let us know. Let us know in the comment section, comment below between between them three. Earth says Southgate does not understand why so many questions when you when he picks Maguire, even if he's on the man new bench 99% of the time. It's Southgate is confusing. I geez, I just don't want him at Palace. I'm sorry, people. I me personally keep him away from Palace by any means because yeah, he's he's if he's got Jude Bellingham, Harry Kane, Saka, and all these players and still picking, you know. I know the players I mentioned are not defenders, but he's still picking the likes of Maguire and Jordan Henderson, like, and talking about Phil Foden not being able to play in the centre because um, Pep doesn't play him there. He's, yeah, keep him away. Keep him away from Palace, honestly. Um, that's the last thing I would want um, during the space of time. Being a Scottish Palace supporter, it was tough to watch last night with the obvious Palace connection. Try being a Palace and a Scotland supporter. Why me? Well, try being a... Um, <laughs> Try being a Palace and a Turkey supporter. I'll just say that because, yeah, the quicker the international break was over, the better because, yeah, we just got um, spanked by Japan, um, which Japan, you know, they're solid side. And uh, Armenia just got lucky to get a point. So, yeah, there is <laughs> there is, there's a, a lot. There's the, a Ar lot. The, the Armenian one was definitely a shocker. Yeah, shot. there's a lot, man. There's a lot with, with, to, with Turkey. So, the, the less I speak about the international break, the better it is because, boy, I couldn't wait for Palace to come back. And it's a good thing, to be fair, because... You know, when you're actually looking forward to your team playing, which most international breaks we're not, and we're happy with the break, it means that you've, you know, you've had a good start. You have something good going on, and it's on us to keep us, you know, pushing on towards Villa. We spoke yeah. about in the preview that it's an important game. These points add up towards the end of the season. You can't just look at it saying, "Oh, it's Villa away from home is a free hit." No, yes, they are a good side, but we have had a solid start as well, and we need to make sure we pick up as many points as possible. Right. But look, let's move on to the next um, news today that did come out. Um, of course, sending your thoughts about Richards, Tom Tompkins, or Holding. If Gahey's out, who would you rather see play? Let us know. Um, Sun United announced the following, saying that we are delighted to confirm that one of our highly promising academy youngsters, Dante Martin, has joined Premier League club Crystal Palace. So we have made a sign-in, but it is a youngster. Um, T, look, I'm not going to talk about the player. I'm going to talk about my perspective on this. Of course, you might know that Sun United, another South London club, very mm -hmm, close to mm -hmm. Palace as well. Yep. We need to be doing this. It might yep. sound harsh, but we need to be doing this because other clubs have done it to Palace. I've seen it firsthand with Southampton come to South London, Fulham in South London trying to poach these players and get these players. And now that we've got our facilities, we need to make sure we bring the best talent possible in our own area and then look broader beyond. So in terms of us picking a player from Sutton United, an academy player, 
that does show that the academy facilities that we do have, even though, even if you didn't build it, I feel like Palace probably holds a bit more weight than Sun United with all due respect in terms of academy. It's good to see, T, that we're working behind the scenes, not only on our first team, but also academy in terms of scouting these players. Because if you don't scout them, then you wouldn't know that players like Dante Martin exist. Yep, this 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 shows the progress that we were that we were seeking with uh, revamping the academy. Um, you're getting top talent from South London, and that's regardless of where they are. If they're with another club, if they're not with the club, that's you 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 are attracting the top talent from this from our catchment area, uh, regardless of who they're playing for. And that's the 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 optimum of what we're looking to do as far as bringing guys in. Now, on the other end of that is now taking those talents that we found and brought into the academy and hopefully seeing them move up through the ranks and find themselves into the first team or being able to uh, sell them on for for uh, for hefty profits. So um, it's definitely what we want to be doing on the front end with with our academy. So as a centre forward, he's highly talented, according to Sun United. Yeah. A highly talented and quick centre forward for the under-14 squad with a real eye for goal. So he's still very young. Um, I think, I think he said he's now only 16. He's only like 16, I think, now. Is he 16? Um, he might, yeah, he might be. I, I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll double-check that in just a second. But, but they, sound like they, they, really they, did the say, they did say the following, that his performances saw him play in a higher age groups last season and subsequently attracted the attention of Crystal Palace. So he's been playing at a higher age group due to his talent mm -hmm. um, last season. And I think that's what caught Palace's attention to it. But quick, young centre forward, of course, one for the future. Um, but yeah, look, it's good. It's good that we're building this academy. As I said, I think it's the under-18s right now that are very exciting, um, T, that's coming mm -hmm. through. I know you watch a lot of academy uh, football as well. There's yep. uh, Jesse Derry, Sean Derry's... Um, Son, who also plays for the academy, yep. uh, does he? He's turning it up the, for us in the 18. Yeah, 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 for the under 18. So he's been he's been fantastic up front. Uh, so different player to Sean Derry, and and there's a few others as well. And you know, if we start, you know, building these players in a year or two, or maybe you know, a year or two might be too quick. Two, three years down the line, hopefully, if we're still a Premier League club, it'll be nice to see some of these prospects come through because our academy facilities are genuinely nice. And now it's time to get the players. And do the right scouting because you can have the facilities, but you have to make sure you find the right players as well. That's another element to it, um, exactly. to make sure you grow the best potential talent as much as possible. Uh, Mitch saying, on paper, I'd like to see Holden, but no idea how ready and integrated he is. Mm -hmm. uh, Bollock saying, mm -hmm. Villa has pace galore. I think Richards is marginally quicker than uh, Rob Holden from the little I've seen of both. I think Richards is quicker. Than Rob Holden, I, I wouldn't I don't say think that's margin. debatable. <laughs> yeah, Richards is very fast. I yeah. think so as well. I wouldn't want Southgate. I wouldn't want Potter. Uh, San saying uh, Richards has nine league appearances and still managed to play of the month. He has to be our third choice centre back. And me and T debated no this problems. as well because yeah, <laughs> uh, I, uh, he, he has to be ahead of Tompkins uh, right now because even even in the Plymouth game um I know some of you went to the Plymouth game but it wasn't the greatest defensive performance of course that's why we had to make subs Tompkins didn't have a good as a game as Richards did from what yeah. I heard as well in that game as well so whenever he has played Richards has performed better so at this point there's really no excuse for Richards not to get a nod but hopefully out of all of this we have the fitness tests and there's nothing majorly serious and then we can move on with Gay starting because we're going to need him we spoke I about it him. but they've got some very exciting attacking players um Villa and we need to try to stop them especially you know by pace so I've mentioned working speed there's also the RB as well so there's 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 much more um players to watch out for just it's not just the one with Villa um mm -hmm. Elegy says, on a lighter note, did you see Holding getting involved with Palace for Life Foundation already? Nice touch. Yep. Before we talk about that, I tweeted this as well. T, I had a weird dream. Um, I think it's, it's worth talking about right now. <laughs> okay. oh, it's right before I woke up. It must. It has to be a dream because I actually looked at the quotes and I saw no quotes about this. Rob Holding was talking, I think, to Palace TV. And during that interview, he was mentioning the likes of Eze and Elise and talking about how he came to the club to elevate us to the Champions League. That was a dream, right? 
I've searched everywhere and I haven't seen anything. Did I Rob Holder say? I have not heard that. I have not. All heard right, that. Cool. So I'm thinking about All right. Being a dream. All right, cool. That must have been a dream because honestly, I was, I was like, hold up, did I wake up or did that actually happen? Was Rob Holder speaking to Paddy CB talking about Champions been, that, League? That would been that would been up there with that. That would have been up there with the Mateta stepping stone uh, quote right there. <laughs> I mean, that would have probably been a bit higher than that <laughs> if, if we're talking about Champions League. But imagine after all of this, we actually no, I'm not going to go that far. I'm not going to even say it. But imagine we do end up getting Champions League. But yeah, look, look, Rob Holden, he's, he's getting involved. The funny thing is, when we talk about injuries, because we haven't really seen Rob Holden yet, he's a decent option to have coming off the bench. It's not just Chris Richards. And maybe Roy might prefer Rob Holden, who's more of an experienced Premier League footballer than Richards. And if he does, if I'm Chris Richards, I'm knocking on his door and saying, all right, cool, enough is enough. I want out because then things will become, you know, beyond a joke. If, yeah, if Tom gets... You- you weren't giving yeah, him the time behind a guy yeah. like Tompkins, and then you bring in Rob Holding, and he's not getting time. They, if, if that's the case, they might as well have gotten rid of Chris Richards in in the last window. Mm, yeah, but, but there were the talks, weren't there, Dirty? There, 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 were some, there was there were some rumors. There, there, well, yeah, there, there was more, some more more along the lines of other teams being interested in him, not so much us saying, "Hey, we're looking to get rid of him." But. Mm. Yeah, look, it was it was a loan move, anyways. That's what the talks were about, yep. not a permanent move. Um, yep. But it's interesting. I, of course, we, we're not at the training ground; we can't see what happens. But you would you would expect Richards to get a nod over Tompkins, and if he doesn't, um, I just I, I don't I mean, like it, it. It if 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 it's not like I said, we don't want to go too much to this because we've already been there, done this. But like, it's definitely it's a, if if he's not playing, and it's because. Well, and it's in 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 reference to them deciding to go with Tompkins or deciding to go with holding. It's just because that's a managerial thing. That's because Roy likes those players more than him. Like that's really what it boils down to. Because it's oh, not. He's looked. He's looked solid every time he's come on. <laughs> uh, Mitch said, "If he said that, I would evaluate him for a head injury." <laughs> um, for for Rob Holding, Bollock saying, "Did admit to dreams and fantasies about holding." I guess so. I, I wouldn't say fantasies, but I mean, he was talking to Paddy TV in my world, and that's what he said, but that's in my world anyways, right. when, I was, when I was dreaming. When I was dreaming <laughs> Martin that. Luther D. Jr. <laughs> have a dream with Rob Holding. Wait a minute. Martin Luther D. <laughs> Jr. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here dreaming. I have a dream about Rob Holding lifting the Champions League trophy or <laughs> elevating us to the Champions League with, with Crystal Palace. I mean, it's a wild dream, but here we are talking about it. Um, that's what's that's been the most exciting thing during the international break for me because it's been playing in my head. Um, what what Rob Holden told me in my own little world, and it, it shows I miss Palace. Like the fact that I'm dreaming about Palace probably showed that I miss Palace. Um, and, and in early streaming, yes, Normally, I never I dream about Palace. I'd be on the first thing. I'd be on the first thing over to get that man a hug for that dream, right? Yeah, there. imagine, that, imagine. That, that, that's that's that's, that's clairvoyant level right there. I mean, we spoke about game at time, but I said it many times. You, Game out of time. Game out of time. I'm not even looking ahead, um, that far ahead. You get something against Villa. And, and we spoke about our predictions. The prediction table is tight as well. It is tight um, in a match preview where me and T will sit at the top going into the preview and bottom two, um, AJ and Stan with the same amount of points as well. So, you know, it's, it, is, it is a bit exciting. Uh, off topic, um, when do you think we will see Henderson in the starting 11? I reckon, funny enough, against United. Um, in the cup game, I'll say, yeah, <laughs> I think his first you see the cup, you see their cup or injury. Yeah, yeah. I, I well, personally, I T, I'm calling it. I think Manchester United away from home. Don't you think so? Um, in a cup game, that's when he should get his opportunity. Uh, it's, it's a good question. Like you know, um, I think it makes sense, but at the same time, playing against a high profile side in the cup, you might want to go with what you consider to be your strongest eleven or your a uh, stronger eleven. And maybe he 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 sticks with Sam. So I don't know. I mean, it could be, it'd be it'd be highly ironic. I like the I like the um, the the scenario. I like what I like the build up. I like the, what that what that could mean. Yeah, hundred percent. And Roy just heard what he said, and he's going to be on you for your comments. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen said Richards holding Tompkins in that order all depends on how they are training. Yeah, for me, Richards for now, and then holding, 
and then Tompkins. I agree with that order as well. But people, we're going to wrap it up in just a few seconds time because Roy is not happy with some of the comments that uh, <laughs> that he has said, um, and he's he's belling his line at nine pm, <laughs> and and it's, and yeah, and and here we are, here we are talking about. Um, Chris Richards, Holden, and Tompkins. But look, if you have any questions, send them through um, and uh, we'll answer them. If not, we're going to wrap it up in just a second. Paul saying, uh, drew, draw at Villa all day long. Paul, spoiler alert, I'll take that as well, 100%. Zero shots on target, zero shots. Just give me a nil-nil draw. I'll take <laughs> zero it. shots on target. <laughs> yeah, zero shots. I'll, I'll be happy with that as well. Um, I was saying, I bet D purchased a Dreams mattress, hence his Holden Dream. Do you not have Dreams over in America? Is there a shop? Oh, I is there's a shop. Yeah. I was like, what you oh, oh, I didn't realize what I, <laughs> I didn't realize what I just said. Like, damn, <laughs> no, you know, I'm so there's you know, I have no money. <laughs> there's no what kind of life forms are you all yeah, over there? No, Do you no, dream? You know, I built differently. You have no dreams, no nightmares. You just go to sleep with no emotion. I just I know I've heard of the dreams brand. I don't know if we have stores though. Yeah, do you have dreams over in America? What a question. <laughs> I was like, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, you know, yeah, you have a reach out point yet. Yeah. You haven't got dreams over in America. Uh, but yeah, I guess you don't have the dream store, do you? Yeah, we have no, that. There's I, always, I a, there's always a I've discount. Seen, I've, I've seen the yeah. brand. I've, I've seen and heard yeah. the brand name before, but I haven't seen stores. Yeah, well, you do have dreams over in America, but not the dream store. I hope so, anyways. Right. Uh, for your <laughs> yeah. sake, I hope that you you do have a bit of dreams. Um, otherwise, the last I was the funny, life pretty much. I, I had a situation like this last night with my wife when I was watching the USA game because they're playing against Oman, and um, my wife goes, "Oh, oh man. man!" She was like, "What is that?" I'm like, <laughs> I'm "Like, <laughs> I was like, it's a country." She's like, I don't know what that is. What's like, the score? What's the score, like, by the way? Country. Rich played in that game, right? Yeah, we won for like 4-0. 4-0. Yeah. So like, she was like, I, mean, I don't know what that be, is. I'm like, if you don't beat Oman 4-0, <laughs> then, I mean, you should just call it a day. Like, with all due respect, um, you have got a bit of talent and you should be winning them type of games, which he did oh, do. Yeah. And Hippie did say, you know, it's not only Richards, as they played well when he came off England, which he put his chance away. Yeah, he had a massive chance, I heard, um, that he didn't uh, finish. But... You know, still get selected, which is good, which is good to see. I mean, it was weird to see Lewis Dunk hugging as they after the game and taking a photo together. I don't know if you've seen that photo. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I did. It's, it's, it's a bit weird. Um, uh, after well, how Pirates fans feel towards Lewis Dunk, I mean, touching ebbs, but yeah, here we are, isn't it? Lewis Dunk and Gehi and as a bromance, which even. I want to vomit just saying that. Uh, McDuff said, just think when we beat Villa and Brighton get stuffed, we'll be above the seaweed. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, but yeah, uh, but look, let's 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 wrap up with this question. It's a good question. Does T's family sport Palace too? They do now. <laughs> they do. Yeah, ever since, ever since I started really like really supporting Palace and stuff, like uh my, my wife was the first one that got on board. Now now my, my son watches with me all the time. I, I got a I got a kit for him. So yeah, they definitely are too. I'm happy. I'm happy for your sake, but I'm sad for their sake because I don't know what you signed them up to. I've, I've all, this, all it I'm is is pain, up, I'm signing up to show my 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 family what it's like to be a real fan. Not your, just your son's take, gonna support the Lakers. Not to just take, take, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, right? uh, and do and that. also Palace at the same it's time. The same. Like, the same. geez, I feel sorry. I feel sorry. At least at least you know, at least with the Lakers, you should have went with like a proper team. I don't know, like the Celtics. Um, I mean, the Celtics over the years had done, done the job like over the Lakers Celtics. many times. Proper yeah, team well, like the Celtics. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, but look, people, here we are. We are back with Palace News. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Click on the pinned comment right now to check out the opposition preview. Well, I spoke to a Villa fan from the UTV podcast. It's a very good chat about, you know, their start to the season and also perspective on Palace as well. The match preview where me and speak about the game also out tomorrow as well so like subscribe comment let's try to get over 100 likes uh thank you to everyone who's joined us live thank you to t as well and until next time up the palace keep safe people